just this little small detail, this little playability right here you can Very nice touch. This game song is produced by me, it's not by the product, so yeah. Hiya, hiya, hiya. <laughs> Let's see how long we can hold. Jingdao got master already. Jingdao got master already. Guys, we are back with another episode of unboxing. And this week, we are unboxing Gasmas Hell Chamber by Rob Bowyer. Okay, wow, I don't even know where to start. First of all, you guys can see it's a huge item. Alright, I'm gonna slowly. Give one back. Wow, oh, this is. <laughs> Look at the face comparison. <laughs> My face is long as hell already, man. Yeah. This is like. <laughs> Whoa! Before we begin, Right, make sure you guys stick around, remember to like this video, share this video with your friends, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and ding the notification bell so you guys will never miss out a video that we upload every other week. This week is a special unboxing giveaway episode! Da! Why are you not excited? <laughs> I'm still amazed by how big the box is. You guys can see the packaging is big as hell. Yeah, this is not a gas chamber. This is a okay, so this is a, it's a very similar aesthetic to our first release as well. The Samurai Hell Chamber for gas masks, right? Because gas masks is... Um, you can guess. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's a dead soldier. That's why we have the spot UV bullet prints all over it. You can see the typeface here. Gas mask Hell Chamber by Rob Bowyer. Right on top here, we have this handle, right, to this pull lock, the... Yeah. And then you pull it out. Yep, go. Okay, okay, what our advice is... <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, what our advice is to pull it out sideways. Yeah. Right, so... As to prevent any mishandling of the yeah. toy. Wow. What? Here, we got a spot UV, like a uh, black on black kind of Black on black. The uh, bullet. And then over here... Green Gross. on black! Whoa, so many f***ing ammo, man! The inside box opens up with a top cover. So when you pull out sideways, and then you just open it up. Alright, one layer of boom. And we have the gas mask. First of all, before we carry on, every single one of our Mighty Jacks release comes with the Foru verification card. So what does this mean? This means that the toy is chipped. So for this product, it's very special because it's porcelain. The uh, chip can't be in the, embedded into yeah. the porcelain. So it comes separately with a for real verification pack. Nicely leather pouch with the NFC chip inside with a keychain ring as well. So what you need to do is when you unbox the toy, when you receive the toy, look for the for real verification sticker or the tag. Take in the this phone, case, the tag. Out the app. And then you just scan scan this thing. This thing, yes. But it's the chip is inside. You have to yeah. peel off the sticker, okay? Yeah. And then voila, beep, beep, the toy will be registered under your name, under your account. You and you only. Yes. Alright, let's go. Oh yeah, of course it comes with the sort of authenticity. I just want to show you guys a bit how it looks like inside. Just be careful. Yeah. This is how it looks like. Oh. This is why it's so big and so heavy. Here you go. The top half along the base. Yep. This. Oh. Then we have gas mask. First of all, this collectible is made out of porcelain because this it's not just an art collectible, this is an actual lifestyle product that you can use to burn your incense. So what you do is, first of all, you open up the top, right? And then we have the base here. So this is where you put your incense, yeah. right? So most Light up your cone incense, you put here. Yes, correct. So most incense cones will come with a metal tray. So do remember to use the metal tray to prevent the overheating of porcelain. Because yes. even though porcelain products can take heat, you wouldn't want to risk overheating it yeah. and cracking it. Yeah. yeah. But then again, it's very, very sturdy. It's very, very durable. Just be careful not to drop it. So this is where you put your incense cones, light it up, and then you put it over and you will see smoke channeling out through all the other holes. holes. How so, many holes are there? So he has a bullet hole right here. Oh, it's all bullet hole. Huh? The previous one is like what? Crack holes? Sunrise is that wounds. This is bullet wounds, yeah. bullet holes. He's an uh, undead soldier who is in the middle of chemical warfare. Chemical warfare. Hey. Warfare, right? And got shot in the chest. Two more holes on the head. One more hole on the left arm, one hole on the right arm, and one more hole on the back arm. This is probably the exit wound from the front hole. Mm. Let's start from the top. There's a big hole there. Probably was shot by a sniper rifle. Yeah. Actually, it should be the rifle that he's using now. 
almost like probably the kind of like the, like, the yeah, yeah. era one. He has still some dents on his head as well. From, <laughs> yeah, not hit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, bro, I, I know, I know. So there's two holes on his head is because there's an exit hole. Oh. Boom, boom, boom. Actually, actually, it won't boom, boom. So when he goes in here, right, this one won't speed like that. So this is the exit hole. He goes here and then it speeds out. That's why the thing goes out because it's the exit. Just saying. So as you go down, he has the helmet strap that's loosened. Right here, you can see the details of the gas mask and his like ice chamber as well. One of the panels is cracked. You know how like when the gas mask can no longer protect you from the chemical, mm -hmm. it always mm -hmm. cracks first. I saw this small detail. The nose part, uh, it's actually like skull detail. Now I wonder how his face looks like, like really. Like it's as if like the gas mask kind of welded on Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. it's got, it's part of him already. His clothes is that military overcoat. Yes. High collar. You see on his shoulder, the coat has the military flag. It's the put your rank. rank. Yeah. This guy is a private. What a uh, scrub. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> no, no, nothing. Uh. There's no sergeant. There's no. John the Dyke. One of the highlights of this collectible, right? The previous release on um, Samurai has detachable swords that pierce through him, you know? Yes. And then for the next release, right? Um, The knight is holding on to the Zelda yeah. Master Sword. Uh, like Excalibur. Excalibur, yeah, yeah, yeah. Excalibur. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Correct, yeah. So this guy also have his own. I don't know if it's like World War II or World War One, but then it's an old, old kind of uh, rifle mechanic. Uh. You know, the super long one. And you have to clock. And speaking about clocking, you can clock the gun. <sighs> no, but you can't shoot. Uh. Just this little, small detail, this little playability right here, you can. <laughs> Very nice touch. This game, uh, song is produced by me. It's not by the product, so yeah. So you look at the gun, right? The rifle mm, mm. is treated with this very rustic, rustic look. Yes. Yeah, wear and tear, like has the black stains all over it. And of course, even look at the details of the rifle, right? Mm. So there's bandages wrapped around it. For grip. For oh, grip. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, because the, the whole rifle is very oh, long. Oh, so this is for grip. Oh, shh. Yeah. Wow. Wow, and then of course the sling mounted on his right shoulder, you know, mm. just chilling. Hey, on guard duty, man. And of course, yeah. right. For every single one of his rock bowel release, there's always a yeah, caption. Uh, yeah, caption to describe his art. Yeah, piece, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, right. Yeah. So uh it says here, death in simple. It's not. And it ain't beautiful also. But, but for this case, it's it very is beautiful. Absolutely yeah, beautiful. For all products. This is the front and there's always a back. The back will be Rock Bowyer collab with Mighty Jacks. Yeah, for all his hell chamber products. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk a little bit about artist Rob mm. Bowen himself. Mm. This guy is an amazing artist. When we first reached out to him, our idea was to engage with him to create this line of lifestyle products that is multi-purpose, both for art collectible and uh, actual usable. Right, 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 right. So right. Rob Bowen is the first artist that we work with to create a uh, gas chamber. What Rob Bowen's artworks generally like is very American graphic yes. novel, strong, high contrast art style. lines. There's one character that I've seen that do a lot of like different renditions on it. Mm -hmm. The Plague Doctor look. He can do it in a very dark, very aggressive yet aging. The Plague Doctor by nature is a really dark one. Most of his artworks, we are all 2D plain. One of our 3D artists, I think it was Matthew, he's able to work very closely, rock, realize, form this flat 2D illustration in, in 3D. 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 And then Wingardium Leviosa. Okay, 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 come. Come, all right. Slice of toy. Slice of toy. Come. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Let's show them. Don't even so long. And it's at 10 inches. 10 inches. We, oh, this is just 10 awesome. inches. Wow. You guys uh, need to imagine this. Uh, when you look at this product, right? Before you buy, you have to imagine how awesome it will look like. We smoke coming out. Oh, yeah. Come, BJ, drop the tracks. Waku, waku. Here's your chance to win a gas mask hell chamber by Rock Bowyer. Like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and look out for the giveaway question in the video. Leave your answers down in the comment section below. We'll select our favorite answer and announce it in the comment section on the 24th of February, 9 a.m. Eastern Time. Check out our other videos on the Mighty Jacks YouTube channel. See y'all next time.